All right, so a story, whether it's a fictional story or a personal narrative, has a beginning, a middle, and an end. I've already talked about opening scenes in the beginning in another video, so, video, so now I wanna talk about the middle. How do you go about writing the middle? Two things I wanna say, the rule of three and antagonists. There are other videos about those two topics, so if you haven't already seen them, please go check them out. But I'm gonna talk about how to use those right now. So, in the middle of your story, which by the way, is going to be like the longest part of your story. The beginning might be this long, but the middle is gonna be this long, and the end is gonna be this long, give or take, right? So, I want you to think about your character's goal. So if it's a personal narrative, it's what you're trying to accomplish or what you overcame. If it's a fictional story, what does your character want? What are they trying to achieve? So the rule of three, they will probably try to reach this goal or you will try to reach this goal three times. And remember, your character cannot reach the goal right away because then your story is over. So each time your, your character tries, they fail. So those are some ideas of what will happen in the middle of your story. Now, what about those antagonists? In your writer's notebook, hopefully you have made a list of all of your antagonists. And in the antagonist video, I reminded you of the different types of antagonists, right? The villains, other characters, events or situations, and then my personal favorite, flaws within your character themselves. Those things are all antagonists. Antagonists create problems, obstacles for your main character. So if you have a list in your writer's notebook of all of those antagonists, pull it out when you're writing the middle. Think about all the different things your character is trying to do to overcome the problem or to reach the goal. And what are the antagonists doing to get in the character's way? Brainstorm. Pick an antagonist. Brainstorm what might be happening in the next scene. How does that antagonist get in the way? That's how you come up with ideas for the middle of your story. And the end of the middle should be your character failing for the worst possible time. The worst thing happens. Each time you're writing um, a scene where the character is trying to achieve the goal and fails, it will get worse and worse. The other thing to think about when writing the middle are stakes. Um, I'm not sure if stakes is a, com a com concept you're all familiar with, but really all that means is what will happen if your character fails to reach the goal? You know, will the world be destroyed? Will the, you know, will your character never see their family again? Will that character lose someone they love like Fenway is afraid of losing Hattie? Um, what will happen if the character doesn't ultimately reach the goal? And then in the middle, try to make those stakes more significant. So in other words, make those consequences worse. You know, maybe before they were afraid of losing their best friend, but now something changed and they're also afraid of losing all of their friends or their whole family or um, you know, whatever consequences they will be will just get worse. The other way to raise the stakes is to make the likelihood of your character failing even greater. You can do things like change the deadline. Your character has to, has to solve the problem by this date, but now all of a sudden that date got moved. Um, you know, the big test is coming up sooner than they thought. Or maybe, you know, now your character is, is injured or impeded in some way, so their, their abilities are less. Or maybe they had a helper, like a best friend or a coach or a mentor, who's now suddenly not there anymore. Those are ways that you can raise the stakes. Raising the stakes in the middle of the story makes your story more exciting. And so do the antagonists. The more problems, the harder it is the more your reader just wants to keep on reading. So think about all of those things when you're writing the middle.